Welcome to A Word of Hope for Monday of the third week of Lent. My name is Father Brian Walker. It's amazing how many people think of God as a puppeteer, that God is the one up there manipulating and working everything for us. And then when things go bad, we wind up saying, why is God letting this happen? Why is this happening? Just re recently I was asked to anoint a little boy. He was just 12 years old, dying of cancer. When I went to see him, I was very surprised because one of the things that he had said to his father prior to my arriving was, why does God let this happen? Why am I so sick? Why have I been suffering so? And why does God let this hurt my family so much? And it was very difficult to hear because he's just a little boy. But how many of us feel that this is the way God acts? Here we have the war going on. We have so much happening in Ukraine. People being bombed and being needlessly slaughtered. And yet, what do we say? Why is it that God lets this happen? And I always try to explain to people, God cries along with us because God is not a puppeteer. God has given each and every one of us a free will, a free will to make our own decisions, whether those decisions are good or bad. God is there, but God does not manipulate us. It's not about that happening. In the reading of the gospel today, we hear about how there were widows in Israel, but none of them received a visit that the prophet went somewhere else. And that there were those who were leprous, but none of those were cured. In other words, the prophet went somewhere else. It was always the people that we didn't expect. It was always the people who had that interaction with God, and nobody expected it. They expected the obvious. During this time of Lent, the obvious is, well, we are repenting. We are doing what we can. But the question remains, are we? Or do we continue to expect God to do something? I really think that it gets to the point where we have to say, we must do it ourselves. We have to change our world. Don't look to be manipulated. That's what the, what the problem is with the world today. Too many people are manipulating too many other people. Pray for the world. Pray for yourself. Do what you can, but also know that God is with you. God's not making the differences. God says you can make the difference. Amen.